TikTok is in trouble, but not the kind you might expect. In 2021, TikTok became the world's most popular website, surpassing even Google. In 2022, it was the most downloaded app. So it's no surprise TikTok has made such an impact on society. 1.5 billion active monthly users are on the app, giving the company behind it a valuation of 50 billion US dollars. 18% of all internet users are on TikTok, and it has the highest engagement rate of any social media platform. 90% of users open the app every day, the kind of statistic other platforms would kill for. But the rise of TikTok has been controversial. Politicians claim the app is used by foreign governments to spy on users, or to moralize them politically. Scientists claim the app is having negative effects on our psychology, especially when it comes to attention spans. Many articles out there have headlines like, TikTok is killing your brain, one short form video at a time. They point out that TikTok users self-report having trouble concentrating. Apparently the fast nature of TikTok reprograms our brains to find long content boring. And maybe that's true, but it's not what this video is about. Actually, it's good for TikTok, making users largely reliant on it. Instead, I want to talk about a much more favorable problem. The single problem I would choose if I owned a social media app. That problem is maturation. As we know, TikTok is driven by the younger generation. Its largest age group is 18 to 24, and always has been. Just as Facebook was built on millennial usership, TikTok is the voice of Gen Z. 62% of Gen Z are TikTok users, many of which are on it every day. It's the demographic every app is battling for, and TikTok has an iron grip. But gradually, that is changing. Social media platforms naturally mature. It's already happened to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and more. And now it's starting to happen to TikTok. Over time, older generations are starting to use the app. Not only millennials, but Gen X and boomers too. As time goes on, the typical content on the platform will begin to reflect that. While this is not necessarily a bad thing, it will change the way young people see TikTok. Think of the disdain Gen Z have for Facebook. The cancer that is Facebook memes. So young people just don't really use it much. I don't think I've used Facebook in about two years. I don't use Instagram much either because that's another lake of cringe. The bottom line is young people just don't want to use the same platform as their parents. So as TikTok continues to mature, its retention of Gen Z users will start to wane. Does that mean the platform will die? No, it does not. But it does mean TikTok will lose the dominance it now has.